everyone welcome back to another video hope you're doing good thank you so much guys for the likes and the sweet comments thank you for subscribing to my channel may god bless you if you're watching my video for the first time you're highly welcome my name is cynthia and to my returning subscribers you guys are absolutely welcome so in today's video i'm gonna be showing us how to make this gown it's a color dress there's a collar at the upper part and the ruffles at the bottom of the dress. So that's what we're going to be making today. So this is my fabric. I have two and a half yards of crepe fabric. The fabric is a little bit stretchy, not that much. Okay, so let's get started. I have my fabric folded into two. I'm cutting out the front and the back together. This is the front and this is the back. They are both folded into two. I used the hip measurement to cut out the fabric. I added about two inches for sewing allowance. So the back is about one and a half inches bigger than the front because of zipper allowance. So I'm going to be using this for my zip. So let's go ahead and uh, place the measurement. As you can see, I've marked out some lines here, which I will explain to you guys. This is my starting point. From shoulder to bust is uh, 10.5 inches. I'm adding half inch for sewing allowance. From shoulder to waist is 18 inches plus sewing allowance. And from shoulder to hip is 25 inches plus half inch sewing allowance. The length of the dress is 43 inches plus sewing allowance. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, place the measurement. The shoulder measurement is 16 inches divided by two is eight inches. I'm not going to be adding allowance to the shoulder. So I'll mark 8 inches here. I'll mark 3 inches for the neck width. That's the wideness of the neck. I will take 1.5 inches for the back depth. And 3 inches for the front depth. I will make a straight line here. I will cover the neckline. This is the back neckline. And this is the front neckline. So I will go to the shoulder here and mark one inch for shoulder slope. I will connect the shoulder slope to the neckline. Right from the shoulder slope, I will take half of the round armhole measurement. The armhole measurement is 17 inches, divided by 2 is 8.5 inches. I'll mark 8.5 inches here. So I will still place the shoulder measurement here. So this is now my chest line. I will make a straight line here. Before I will look for the midpoint of the armhole, I will place the bust measurement right on this chest line. The bust measurement is 42 inches, divided by 4 is 10 and half inches. So I will place a quarter of the bust measurement here. I will add 1.5 inches for sewing allowance. I'll make a line here. This is my chest line. So we go back to the arm hole and look for the midpoint of the arm hole. Four and a quarter is the midpoint. I will make a curve here. This is my back arm hole. So to get the front arm hole, I will go inside by half inch right from the midpoint here. I will connect it like so. So 
So I'll go ahead and place the rest of the circumference measurement. I'll place the waist and the hip circumference measurement. The waist measurement is 38 inches divided by 4 is 9.5 inches or 9.5 inches. I will add 1.5 inches for sewing allowance. I will place a quarter of the hip measurement right on the hip line here. So a quarter of the hip measurement is 11.5 inches. I will still add 1.5 inches for sewing allowance. I will minus one and a half inches from the hip measurement and then place it at the bottom part here. I don't want the bottom part to be too curvy. I just minus one inch from here. If you want it to be too fitted or too curvy, you minus 1.5 inches. So I have 13 and a half inches here. So I will deduct one inch from 13 and a half inches, which is 12 and a half inches. So I will go to the bottom part here and place 12 and a half inches. So I'll go ahead and connect the lines right from the chest line all the way to the bottom part. Chest to the waist. This is from the waist to the hip. And the hip to the bottom part. This is the waist line. I will go inside by half inch here for a nice flat zip. So we connect this all the way to the upper part. So we cut this half inch out in order to have a very nice and a flat zip at the back. So that's just it. So I'll go ahead and cut it out. We cut out the back neckline and we're cutting out the front one later. I'll make a notch here for the back zip. I'll cut out the front neck line and the, the arm hole. I'll cut out the front arm hole. I will set this aside. We'll be cutting out the sleeves now. So we'll be cutting out the sleeves. I folded the fabric into two. My sleeve length is 23 inches, so we mark nine and a half inches here. The arm hole is eight and a half inches. I will add one inch for sewing allowance. That is nine and a half inches. I will mark four inches down. That's the sleeve cap. And the random hole measurement is 8 inches divided by 2 is 4 inches plus 1 is sewing allowance. That's 5 inches. I'll connect it like so. And bring it down to this 5 inches. So I'll go ahead and cut it out. So we are done with the cutting. So what we are going to do is to join them together before cutting out some part from the side. So this is the back side. I will attach my zip. My zip is up to here. So I will attach it here and stitch up the remaining part. So after I've done that, I will join the front and the back together. Remember one and a half inches is our sewing allowance. So this is the sewing allowance. I will sew it like so, all the way to the bottom side. 
I will do the same thing for this side. So guys, I'm done attaching the zip. So this is the wrong side. I've also joined the shoulders. I use half inch to join the shoulders and one and half inch to join the side. We go ahead and they cut out this uh, part. We're going to be cutting out some fabric out then uh, replace it with uh, a garter or ruffle. So it depends on you where you want to cut out. For this one I'm making, I want it to be exactly this same side. So the high part will be on the left. So this is the hip line. So right on this side, this is the left side. I will step down two inches from the hip line. This is two inches. And on this side, I will come inside by three inches. This side is not included. The sewing allowance is not included. So this is where I stitch it right from the place I stitch it. I will mark three inches inward. What I will do is to connect these two inches to meet these three inches. Is that you mark three or four inches? It totally depends on you. So I will connect it as you're connecting it, you curve it. So I will curve it. I'm not making a straight line. I will curve it. To meet these three inches, I will go ahead and cut this side out. So I've cut it out. What I will do is to measure this round and times it by two. So I have 13 inches here, 13 inches for the front and 13 inches for the back. So I will times it by 2, which is 60 inches. I will times it by 2 to cut out the gather or ruffle. So 60 times 2 is 120. I will still measure the same length. So this is the length we cut out. I will still measure the same length we cut out, the length on this side, not on the other side. So let me measure it. I have 15 inches here. So I will make it 16 inches because I will use half inch to join it to the upper part and the hem the bottom part with half inch. So I will cut out 16 inches um, ruffle or 16 inches gather. So guys, I've cut it out. This will be for the gather. I have 16 inches here. And the wideness is uh, 120 inches. So what I'm going to do is to take it to my machine and use the longest stitch to make a gather. So before I make the gather, I will hem the bottom parts. So I will use half inch to hem the bottom part and the uh, gather the upper part. I will gather it up to 60 inches measurement both front and the back well guys i've gathered the bottom part up to the measurement of this part i cut out so what we are going to do is to join this to this upper part before i will join this to the upper part i will make sure i hem this small part here i will use half inch to hem it Then hem this side that is open. So I will hem this side that is open with half inch and then hem this side. So we we'll go ahead and then attach this to the upper part. So this is what I mean. After hemming it here, I will also hem this side. I will join them together. I will stitch it around I'll use half inch to join them together so after I've done that I will 
join the sleeve together. I will hem the bottom with half inch and then use one inch to join the side. So guys, I'm done joining the gather to the upper part. I fix it up to here. This side should be longer than the other side. A little bit drop down. I've also joined the sleeves together. I added about 2 inches band to the tip of the sleeve. It's optional. You can just leave it like that. But that's how I want it. So we'll go ahead and attach the sleeve to the dress. And I will measure the neckline and use it to cut out the collar and collar stand. So I won't be showing you guys how to cut out the collar. I have a series of that video in my channel. I will link it in the description box. So I will measure it round. I have about 17 and a half inches here. I will use it to cut out the collar stand and attach the collar to it. So we'll go ahead and attach the sleeve to the dress. So I will turn the dress to the wrong side. This is the right side of the sleeve. I will tuck it inside. Right side facing right side. So I will match the side seam together. So I'll use half inch to join the sleeve to the armhole. I'll do the same thing for the other side. So guys, I finished attaching the sleeve to the dress. So this is the collar. I have about two to three videos on how to make this uh, collar and the collar stand. I will link it in the description box. So I'll go ahead and attach it. The neckline is 17 inches. So after sewing it, I have exactly 17 inches here. So this is the midpoint. I'll match it to the front midpoint. I will take it around to the back side. I will use a quarter of an inch to sew the first one. And after I've done that, I will fold this. I will still use a quarter of an inch to cover up the first stitch, like so, and sew it around. So, guys, I finished attaching the collar to the neckline. This is the back side. This is the bottom part. This side have to drop down more than the other side. So this is the back side. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're new here. Don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you get to know whenever I upload new video. I will see you in my next one. Love you guys. Bye.